Hey everybody, welcome back to Christian Marriage Topics, where I speak to you straight from experience. 26 years together, almost 19 years married with my partner. And um, you may hear a little background noise today because the kids are up and playing. They have an off day today and so they're like around. So just the F, you know, just the FYI. But um, either way, today we are going to be talking about the top five things you should be discussing before you get married, possibly like during the dating phase, before you get married, it's so many things we can talk about. And it's so many things that's important to talk about. But some of the top five things that I chose, I'll share that today. One of the top five things, the number one thing you should be talking about while you're dating, before you get married, the number one thing you should be talking about is your beliefs. That is such a core foundational need in any relationship. That's going to determine their mindset about a lot of other things that I'm going to discuss. If you simply know that one thing, that will be a good enough piece of information to get a heads up on so that you will be able to already have some form of you know, um, like information, you'll be somewhat informative about different things that they may feel about other topics if you simply know their beliefs. And it's not to condemn their beliefs, it's simply so you have a heads up to know what what you can expect and, and, and maybe even understand why they think certain ways and, you know, how they think about certain things or how they don't think about certain things, you know. It's just one of those big things that you need to know. Your belief system, even if they don't have, you know, like who do you believe in? What do you believe in? What system do you believe in? Or what what is your belief system? Like, like that is so important because... That's going to determine so much about everything else. Like, and you don't want to be surprised. Like, you're with someone and then you realize, wait a minute, we've been together for dating before even married for how long? And we have not even talked about belief system. It's going to have to come up one way or the other. So you don't want to be shocked if they believe in something that you totally don't even agree with at all. It's, it'll be like water and oil. You know, it just may not mix, but then it may mix. It may be something that give you a connecting factor to where you can actually find that as an anchor to connect you and grow and build on. Like it's not just a thing about finding what's wrong. It actually can be something that can kind of anchor you into, you know, like figuring out what to build on. So like, yeah, that could actually be a good thing. It'd be like, oh, you believe that? Oh, I believe that. Oh, wow. Well, let's talk about this. What do you think about that? You know, it, it could be something that could actually be a plus to your, 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 your dating leading into marriage. But that is something you need to talk about before marriage. You know, your beliefs, that's very important. Another thing, number two, you should be talking about before marriage is role expectations. Role expectations. That is so important. We just get with people and we just think, okay, I'm living my life. They're living their life and everything. But what happens when we get together and live a life together? What do you expect from me? What should I expect from you? And what can I expect from you? You have to share if, do you even have expectations for me? Do I even have expectations from you? If so, what are they? Let's lay them out. Like this is like your basic expectations. Like this is something that I must have in order for me to feel like this will work for us. Like lay that out before you get married. Lay that out while you're dating because that will help you know what you need to work on before you even get that far, before you even get in the same home, before you even get in a committed uh, long-term uh, commitment, you know, a lifetime commitment. And so that would definitely help out. And so you definitely need to know 
you need to talk about that. Like, what are your role expectations of me? You know, I'm I'm a woman, you're a man, assuming that type of relationship and and you're just like wanting to know what it what do they expect from you, you know? And so that's number 2. Role expectations need to be clearly defined. That way, if you hit a bump and it's like, wait a minute, I don't expect that, that I, you would expect me to do that. Or I don't expect that you expect me to do this. And that's something you can discuss. That way, all you're talking and everything, you need to talk about the right things. Things that's actually going to affect your experience together in the long term. So those are things you need to talk about. Number three on my list is income. You know, what can you expect as far as income? How will income be earned? How will income be used? You know, like uh, who is expected to earn income? Are both of you expected to earn income? Does he accept the total responsibility of the income needs? Um, will my income be dependent on or will I be able to kind of use my income as a cushion, as a backup, but you are basically holding down the fourth. And if you need me, then I step up and use my income or, you know, like, or do you expect that it's 50, 50 where you pay half, I pay half, you know, whatever it is not saying one way or the other is right or wrong. It needs to be understood. Because the more that you discuss up front, the less shocking and arguments and disappointments that will be experienced in the end. Income, where will it come from? Who is expected con- to contribute what and how much? Will it be even expectations? Will it be, you know, like, you know, like not, a, you know, you, you, who's going to be the one that's holding down the income responsibility and everything? Um. Even how it's going to be earned. Will it be some unexpected means of earning an income that I may not agree with? (laughs) You know, how is income going to be earned? Do we agree to how it's going to be earned and how it's going to be spent and who's going to do the spending? You know, that needs to be discussed. Another thing is children. Are you able to have children? Do you want to have children? If so, how many children do you want to have? You know, do you have any other children? How are we going to handle that situation? You know, um, if you don't have any other children, that's so much more easier because the children that you create or don't create together, that will make it easier for you to focus on just your household and you won't have to look outside that in order to try to, uh, you know, hold the responsibilities that you have outside of that relationship but this is assuming a a person doesn't have children already i'm speaking from a perspective of they don't have children and you just want to know how many children do they want do they even want children and if not you know you agree on whichever way that goes but that has to be discussed another important thing that has to be discussed about children is uh, education, like how that's number four. Number four is education. And actually, yeah, number four was education and do they want children and how would you educate the children? You know, so how education, I say that because I'm a homeschool mom and I didn't come from a homeschool family. He didn't come from a homeschool family. That's a big decision. It needs to be discussed. It needs to be agreed upon. It needs to be disagreed upon. It needs to be discussed. So you have to know that so that you won't go into there, you know, having children. And then once they're born and then they're school age, then you're like, oh, how are we going to educate them? No, you have to discuss that to degree upon that before it even happens. All of this will prevent so many headaches, so many heartaches, you know, so many breakups, this the divorces and everything over things that you could have simply discussed before because it's not a matter of it being a problem it's just a matter of if you had known then you would know how to plan ahead already and it will be less of a shock and the last thing that I want to discuss to me in in dating the last thing sometimes it's the first thing but the last thing number five should be about expectations for sex 
What do you expect from me? And can I expect the same from you? Or should I not expect the same from you? Because sometimes you get in these relationships and marriage and it's like people come in with different experiences and different phobias and different mindsets about what's expected of sex. And just like an example, it could be one partner that expects to receive oral sex, but expects not to give it to the other partner. And it's like, well, we need to agree upon that. I need to understand what I'm getting myself into. Am I going to get into a marriage where I'm going to be like sex starved? Am I getting into a marriage where I'm not going to receive the pleasure that I want orally, but you expect it from me? Like, let me know before I get into this. Let me know what I'm signing up for. So that is so important. The five things I just said is so important and it will actually help your dating process because that will really, really give you something to talk about that's worthwhile and it actually help you save your time because if you already know, okay, wait a minute, we talked about this. No, that's a no-go. There's no way I could date, you know, somebody who you know, don't believe in God at all. At least you know, because you might find out after marriage, they may not even talk about it. You don't talk about it. But then suddenly when you talk about it directly, they actually like acknowledge, like, I don't even believe in God. It's like, what? Like, okay, so that's it right there. Like everything else don't even matter. So you need to know those things to talk about. There's so many more things we can talk about. But once again, My top five things to talk about while dating and before marriage. Number one, beliefs. Who or what do you believe in? Number two, role expectations. What do you expect from me? And I have to tell you what I expect from you. And can I expect that? And can you expect that from me? Do I accept your role expectations? And number three, income. How will income be earned You know, do I agree to that term of being earned like this? And how will income be used? You know, do you expect me to use my income or will you use your income or can we, will we both use our income? Whatever you feel is right, you know, but, but we definitely need to discuss the income. And number four is children. Do you even want children? If so, how many? And, and if so, Like, how will we educate our children? You know, because that's a big deal. How will we educate them? Do we agree on that? Will we homeschool them? Will we send them to private school? You know, will we put them in public school? How will we decide on that? Like, what what do you think you will want? That's something to think about before it happens. Like, what, what what do you want? And number five on my list is sex expectations. You know, I need to know how I am going to be expected to perform what you expect from sex i mean there's so many different variables that people have when they think about those topics that you have to know where someone stands before you just assume this or assume that you need to know you know what 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 do you expect from me and what can i expect from you and you know what can i not expect from you what are your limits what are your boundaries you know and then share your limits and your boundaries you know all important So thank you guys for tuning in to another topic of marriage topics. And I hope this helps you on your journey of of marriage, to have a great marriage, a happy marriage, a healthy marriage. Thank you. And please subscribe. I share this from personal experience and I want you to subscribe um, and like in order for me to be rewarded for sharing my information. Thank you so much.